In this video, I'll be talking about one of the web server's vulnerabilities, which is the cross-site tracing. I will show you what is HTTP trace, how to find if your web server is vulnerable, and how to secure your web server by disabling the HTTP trace. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now for free tutorials and computer-related tips. And now, let us get started. If your web server has HTTP trace enabled, this is going to put it in the risk of a cross-site tracing and a use of a cross-site scripting. So what is trace? This method simply echoes back the client whatever string has been sent to the server and is used mainly for debugging purposes. The trace method, while it looks fine for debugging, it can be used some in, in some scenarios to steal customers' credentials. It allows the client to see what's being received at the other end of the request. And this kind of attack method was first discovered in 2003. So first let us find if your web server is vulnerable or not. For that we can use curl minus k to perform insecure connection and minus capital X to use a specified or to use a specific proxy and I'll be using trace for that to check it and then you can put either an IP or a domain name that you want to check since I'm going to check for that specific localhost or that web server so I'm going to use localhost if it's vulnerable you're going to get something similar to this so this one is showing that trace is there and showing HTTP 1.1 and showing that it's accepting everything, right? So how now to disable it? To disable it, you need first to find where the HTTP or the Apache configuration is. And then you need to open it. And you need to add or modify the trace enable. So I'll put trace enable and I'll make it off. I'm going to save the file and then you need to restart the service. Now if we run again the curl, it's going to give you like the method is not allowed. So in this video, we went through what HTTP trace is and how to disable it. Until we meet again, bye.